All right, back here. We got a no cooling car. No cooling car here. Let's see if we can get some footage. Well, they say uh, they got two units in the upstairs unit. I think the upstairs unit is not cooling. What other units are not cooling? See, they say it's not turning on at all. So we are gonna uh, see if we can get some footage. I'm gonna grab my shoe cover, and my tool bag. Get some footage today, folks. Here. Uh, drill. Gotta have a drill. Quarter in five sixteenth. Uh, it's not turning on at all. What can that be? Why the unit not turning yeah. on at all? Shoe covers. This is a home warranty customer, folks. Home warranty. The entitled home warranty customers. Kind of warm downstairs. Yeah. Is it downstairs or upstairs? It's down here. You got two units? Yes. Okay. All right, what you think going on? Or, or it won't come on. It just won't come on at all? When you start experiencing that? Yeah, uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Okay, and, and it's not like making no noise? No, it won't come on It just all. won't do anything. Yeah. Okay, um, so this is the thermostat. How do I get to the outside unit and, and the uh, one that's in the attic? Okay. Or, or is it in the attic? Um, yeah, Upstairs, yeah, the furnace? I think quite a bit. Um, okay. Yes. I, and I'd rather I go up there first and then, oh, and then go outside. Okay. But outside, um, is it on the side? Yes, mm -hmm. all the way um, on the side. Okay. Over you, here. You got a gate? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. It's right. Yeah. It's right there. Okay. Okay. But I, but, okay. <clears throat> okay. It's off right now. Okay. I'll just take a look at the thermostat. All right. Okay, I, I, and I, I, I take it down, down. it's up there? Okay. Yes. And your upstairs thermostat, where is that one? Right here. That's that one there? Okay, yeah, and it's trying, it's trying to cool the whole house, huh? It's on now, mm hmm Okay, all right. What you got it set for? 76. Okay. Oh, 75. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take a look over here and then I'll go down. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try to shut this door. Okay. Yeah, how long you been with your warranty company? Uh, as long uh, as long as uh, my, I had the house built. So okay. I've been here. Okay, you're the original owner. Uh-huh. Wow, you had them the whole time? Yeah. Okay. They been treating you good? Yes. Okay. But, um, I haven't had any issues in 23 years. Okay. No, I'll say 22, give uh -huh. take the, yeah. the builder's warranty first. Okay. You say you haven't had any issues. I mean, nothing ever broke down? Or you haven't no, had any issues? No, I haven't okay. had any issues with them, like, repairing, okay. taking care of what okay. they should have been taking care um, of. You have any work done to this unit? Yes, um, yes there okay. has been. Okay. The downstairs, mm -hmm. which one did you think the, uh, gave you the most problem, upstairs or downstairs? It's been upstairs. The upstairs? Okay. Yes. Um, the upstairs one... And I think that's because that runs more than the one because we're up here all the time. Oh, okay. Um, then downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. I ain't gonna speculate. I'm gonna see what's going on okay. with. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. Oh yeah, you have to. Okay. Um, Whoa. Yeah, you have okay. to. All right. You got that built? We'll see. This one too. Oh. Uh -huh. um, yeah, for energy. Yeah. Energy saving. Okay. Do, do they usually bring it all the way down? Yes, oh. uh-huh. Okay. If, if you tilt it to the side, you yeah. bring it all oh, the way okay. down. Yeah. You have to put your bag down. Yeah. I'm so glad I worked out. It's... 
about 20 pounds. Big too, ain't it? You, you made this? No, no. This is. I ain't seen this kind. That's unique. Do me a favor. While you uh, while I'm up here, can you just uh, put it, on put it yeah, put it on cool and uh, drop it down to maybe 70 degrees? Okay. All right. All right, that's us there. Man, that was all right, for I had to delete some files, but she just turned it on. No sin, folks. You got stuff on everywhere. First thing I'm going to do is you just turn it on. Air handle not turning on. So we don't see it. We got some power up here. So power right there. power so turn red Got one way to hold it on why not to the control board, you don't see anything now. All righty, so we're going to check the 24 volts. So we got zero volts. Y'all can see that on your meter. Zero volts. Don't have, we don't have 24 volts. Let's see, we got 24 volts on the transformer. Since this is going into my harness, that's 24 volts. We know we should have it right here. High voltage right here. Yep, got high voltage here. So this 24 volts right here. So we got high voltage going into the transformer. So let me check see if we got 24 right here. Let's see if that's the one. Let's see 
what's going on right here. So we don't have 24 votes. Okay, we do have 24 votes, so I might have a bad fuse. Let's see here. This thing not mounted right. Let's see what's up with this fuse. Yeah, we got a blown fuse. Blown fuse, folks. So what? What y'all think? Blow the fuse. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check that contact out there. Let me see, this is my contact right here. This is our wire going to the condenser. go down to my condenser but we're gonna go Let's check this right now there's a couple ways you can do this I'm gonna check it right here that's my comment we're gonna take it out while one Contact the bag at 1.2. 1 1.2 ohms. Right, so we're gonna go outside, open up that condenser, and see what's up with that contact, and then come back up here and replace the key. Let's see what I got. Fuse in my bag though. I go ahead and put it in now. I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna screw this back up and come back later. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in here. Ooh. Good fuse. I'll go ahead and put that in here. We should be good though. Yeah. So you click on right away. Then we got LED light. Still got our contact to disconnect it. I'm gonna go down and check that contact. Yes, so I got a, a, a bad fuse up here. I put a new fuse in there. Okay. But the outside unit is causing the fuse to blow. So I gotta go find out why okay. the outside is tripping, uh, blowing that fuse. Okay. So I'm gonna go in uh, outside the condenser. Okay. And then I'll come back up here. Oh. All right. But the blower running, so there's something going on out here though. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That should be simple. Probably just a contact. Oh, right. you say I can get to it from the front yard or the back yard? Uh, no, from from the. Um, oh, I'll right? show you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. They look old. You know they look old, don't you? All right. Like I say, it seems like a rodent problem up there too. But look. Might be the problem right here. Might not even be the contact. Uh, there ain't no wire. Let's 
saying like even this wire touched that copper right here it's gonna do it but we know for sure this probably touching each other I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this contact up all right man we need insulation and everything like I say I don't want to man I'm uh See if I can get them up and running. Look. Somebody been using that core cleaner. Mr. Core cleaner folks out here. I can use core cleaner. You can rinse it all off. Hi right, folks, let's see what we got, man. We're gonna throw some safety shades. Open it up. You're in bad shape. I'm kind of hoping that we just need some thermostat wire. I'm gonna put some thermostat wire on here and get out of here. Whew. Stinks in there, man. We gotta get these folks in air, man. You know, folk, some folks go to sweating. Start to stink, man. But yeah, man, these, uh, These units, man, they risen a unit. On their last leg, it's like, you can tell when that insulation, that insulation gone. I, actually, this year I'm gonna have, she kept the unit maintained, she said no. But she's been having a, a warranty. She had the house. Okay. So I say the warning company should require some of them do. But how am I gonna keep the unit maintained? This unit been neglected. I'm gonna check power real quick. Check voltage. Turn some light on for you. So we're gonna check incoming voltage. All right. So I got 242. I can see with the contact. So we're gonna be careful with this. So I'm gonna remove I want to check that on that contact out, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill power though. So I won't even touch my 24 volts. Which I got to disconnect it up there, but I don't want, when I pull them, pull them terminals out. So it's up. So this one right here. So, so y'all, this too. You see this one marked up, and this one down. See? So they mark these, a lot of times they be switched. You would think this one right here is for this one, since it's closer to it, but that one for the upstairs, watch. I'm pull the disconnect off, you can see it's still running. They got them swapped out. I will pull that out to show you, but. I learned, so you learn through experience, but if I pull this out, something wrong with that disconnect out, I can't get that one back started because it's a bad disconnect. And every time I tell me, hey, he messed up my upstairs, you know. So we're gonna verify voltage down here again. So I'm gonna go leg to leg. We got zero. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let me put you right here. All right, leg to leg, we got zero. We're gonna go find us a good ground. There you go, got zero, zero. So that's pretty safe to work on. Now, I wanna check the coil on this contact here, so I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna pull this off right here. We're gonna own this out again. All right. So I'm gonna own that out. See what we get. I got OL, what we got? That's not on, 
and then I'm going it out right here. Make sure I'll leave on, I don't move out the way. Let's see what we get. So that's, I think I got 12 fluctuating a little bit on me. All right, 16, so that's still good. The contact is good. So watch this right here. So we're gonna go from here to here. And all this is is my wire going back up to the air handle right here. See, I got 1.5 again. Remember up there, I was getting like one something. So that let me know that wire touched. But we can do our dummy beat. This should never be touching up there. Y'all hear that? You can hear it in when you're on me. So I'm going to cut it about right here and see if we can get that beeping to stop. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. look good right here all this look pretty good all right all they look good so i'm just going to cut this right here yeah and they were using they were using white and red so i'm gonna cut that back and hopefully we get an OL right here, but I don't want to have to go all in the wall. With all this right here. I don't know if that mask in or whatever. Sealant. There it is. Alright. So we're gonna go here again. Y'all can see my meter. See so that OL. check it back here somewhere if I go right here I'm getting the OL getting the OL if I go back to arms over here see I'm getting a 1.1 that's low but I'm gonna take a chance and go ahead and uh so I'm gonna put thermostat wire from here to here and hopefully that thing don't, hopefully it don't blow. All right. So I'm gonna find out where it's going right here. All right, so I'm gonna replace all this right here. All right, so I'm gonna hook this back up. I'm 
hook this back up. I'm gonna put me some new thermostat wire on here. So we're gonna get, get rid of all this. All right. So we get us enough out of here. See, my thermostat wire got screen on here. I like the screen, we just pull it back on there. All right. So we're just gonna use the red and the white. do the work or I let it twist twist itself don't try to twist it like this so we can keep a good connection I like to cut that back some I like my same length my maintenance plan a lot of you want to come i like to do a full check on it but i'm still gonna check the uh the prison pressure once we get it fired up all right so this is me right here tires and put it you know put it on the suction line but she ain't got no insulation so it's probably best to just leave this strangling right here let's see i'm gonna write that up second man one they don't do all that all right so i'm gonna leave that right there i'll come back and put some electrical tape on my wire nuts but uh we're gonna go inside i'm gonna hook, hook up the uh Condenser back up and I come out here and check some pressures. All right, foam, get ready. Hook it back up, see what we do. I got an insulation. Oh. 
man. Insulation everywhere, but you got these inefficient units. Yeah, 16 inches of insulation up there. Oh, that's insulated. So, got some light over here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it back up. Okay, I got. This I got ultra wide lens. Why I got that? All right, we go get some light. So I can use my light with ultra wide lens. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead and hook the uh, low voltages back up. I'm still gonna have to go outside and uh, I don't have the, well, we can test it like this too. I don't have, oh man, I forgot my, oh, I got, I don't have the high voltage turned on out there, but it should still trip a breaker if something was going on. I mean, not trip a breaker, but blow a fuse. So I'm gonna hook this up and still turn it on. Here we go. Hopefully we don't blow a fuse right or right away. But I got 16 on that contact. If I blow a fuse, I'm just gonna replace the contact. Because my wire is OL. All right, that's OL, so I'm gonna turn the power on. All right, so we didn't blow a fuse. It should be called up the cool. Everything seems good. Let's see if it's called for cool though. So we're gonna go to voltage. All right, so we're gonna go to voltage. We're gonna go to comment. We know the fan on, so we should get 24 volts coming to G. That's on amps. All right, let's go to common G. We should get 24. All right, so we know we're calling for fan. Fan is on. Y'all should be able to hear that. Let's go to Y1. Y1, we're calling for 26 volts, so the contactor is engaged out there. We're gonna go out there and double check and fire it up. It's not blowing no fuse. We go to W1, we should get zero. We got zero at W1. W1 is your heat. We got zero. Common to W1, zero. Not calling for it. Common to Y1, calling for cool, 24 volts, and it's calling for my fan. Of course, from common to R, we got. 26 volts, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this up. We should be finished up here. All right. I guess we'll go ahead and check some voltage. My old door screw was a wire nut. Got an extra wire nut with work for the bottom. Uh oh. Learn something new every day. Must have been an old school tech put that there. Yeah, man, look at all this insulation. But you got this inefficient furnace. 
that's on his last leg. All right. Let me look around. So I'm gonna go and uh, hit the disconnect and shield fire up. We're gonna check some pressure. Then I gotta put this 20, 20 pound door back up here. I will put it, put it back up now. I'm scared, I might have to get back up here. Yeah, I might try to open that door. I have my bag in my hand, I'm gonna knock me down. Back down. All right, gonna put our shoe covers in our bucket here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run and get my gauge. Just come confident. Yeah, we should be good to go. Man, look at my truck. Gotta clean this thing out, bro. We'll get the DMG there 4B. I'm gonna take the LA Tech DMG there 40s out today. We're gonna run them today, folks. All right. That's their fast startup speed on the DMG 40V. Y'all go visit elitechus.com. Get you a pair of these. Come on, we're gonna go to the daylight stream. Where you see something. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So uh, I'll contact the ears in. Contact is engaged. Somebody told me to get my gloves, get my last video, man. I forgot to get my gloves out the truck, though. I don't feel like walking back. Like I told him in my comments, though, I, I, before I lose, he said I lose, I'm gonna end up losing a finger messing with this refrigerant. I told him before I lose a finger, I lose that refrigerant. So I let it go. Bet you I ain't gonna be trying to hurry up and save it. But uh, once you've been messing with these refrigerant gauges on and off for so long, you know how to put it on there without burning yourself. Like my suction line, I know it's sucking in, so I'm not gonna get burnt. But this liquid line right here, it will get you, so I don't never put my finger on that blowback. I always, I always I'm always on the side. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get touched with that refrigerator. I'm on the side right here. It's gonna blow out of here and then out of that way. All right, so we got 132. Let's fire it up, man. See, see what we got. There we go. Fire right up. Now you just need a little thermostat wire, folks. You know that's R22. This is old dinosaur. See if we get anything off the nameplate. Nameplate, Dundada. Right. 
So I'm gonna pull up my LE Tech app. We're gonna check pressure, superheat, and sub cooling. All right, so we got the DMG there for the V. We got that, dis gonna make that discoverable. too close there eh? all right so we'll pull up there 65 might be a little low all right so i got the ict 220 right now you'll be checking ambient i think they got a piston in there super heat but we're gonna check super heat and sub cooling like I say, it's a warranty customer. We still go above and beyond. You know, a lot of people just re repaired the electrical and got up out of here. But pressure don't look too bad. Superheat 36 degrees. As you can see, it's 74 degrees ambient. 74 degrees ambient. We're going to put this in uh, ICT 220. We're going to put that in Bluetooth mode also. So we got R22, 34 degree superheat. Pick up the ICT 220. Uh, LE Tech. App info. Get a four stop. Okay. I'm gonna go run and get my, I got my other, this ICT 220 right here. As you can see, we in uh, ambient mode, ambient mode. About 74 degrees out. One of them up under here might be reading around temperature. Get them side by side there. Let me go run and get my other clamp. We're gonna check sub, sub cooling also. I should be cooling down now. I think we've been running maybe about five minutes. All right, so I got my clamp. Bam! I'm put that in here. See my sub cooling. Let's go back to the DMG. That's 4B. See my sub cooling. We got blank right now. As you can see, sub cooling. Blank. So I'm going to plug this up. degrees sub cooling because you know I already know somebody that put chemicals on the coil and didn't wash it all the way off. And so I ain't got too much against chemicals but of course you got to wash them off so I don't think this lady going to want to maintenance. See but I told you one warranty the customer they entitled. They, they think they don't post, keep their unit maintained and they just wait for it to break down and call their warranty company. But let me pause it. I'm gonna take a couple pictures real quick. But if I wanted to, as you can see with the LE Tech, I can take a screenshot right here. Get to pull up the lady address real quick, fast. I want to block that out though. I don't want to get too personal. I can leave notes. Like just my pressures on the set. on today's date. I'm gonna say that. So I just say that report. That was the pressure right there. I'm gonna take a couple pictures real quick. As you can see, I pretty, got much, pretty much got everything I need, troubleshooter unit, right here. We got 11 degrees. 10, 11 degrees coming out my uh, condenser unit. As you can see, the coils are in bad shape. Hasn't been maintained. And it's breathing though, it's not too bad. You can see I can let the ICT 220 calculate the delta T if I need to. You see 11 degrees, 10, 11 degrees. We can get a screenshot of that. All right. Report name, screenshot. All right. Sub cooling 12. 
Super Heat 30. I think it running good. Like I say, replace the thermostat wire. I'm gonna get some electrical tape, take those wire nuts up, put the cabinet back on. We should be good to go. Right up, just need a maintenance. Need some armor flicks on that suction line. Need a good core cleaning. Probably need that drain need to be cleaned on the inside. Other than that, I think she should be good to go. All right, these back people. So I'm gonna go and speak with the homeowner uh, to give them my recommendation. Let them know we got a maintenance plan. They want to sign up for it. We come and clean it up. You know, if you got a warning coming, we still come and clean it up. Uh, you have a reliable HVAC contract too. If anything go wrong with the home warning coming, but peace, man. Y'all enjoy your weekend. We out. All right, inspect people. All right, for I'm gonna go show up my main main maintenance package. Like I say, they home warranty. Even though they might not get, I just show it anyway. It's all I always practice. You know? Good to practice, so I know how to take a no. The more no's I get, the closer I'm going to be successful. Gotta learn how to embrace the no's. So I'm gonna close this up. Okay. Like I'm telling you over the phone, uh -huh. um, I do, you did get the unit back up and running. That is our maintenance package. Okay. I'm, I know you've been with the warranty company, but it is good to keep the unit maintained because it seems like you you are big on uh, energy efficient. Yeah. And if you don't clean those units up, the unit is struggling. So, okay. uh, so just keep us in mind when, when you're ready. Um, like I say, we'll come out twice a year. Even if you want us to do a one-time maintenance, it's 175 dollars, but it's very beneficial to. Uh, you know, become a member. Okay, and I can scan this? Yeah, yeah, scan the QR code. Because that's our monitoring system. You can have it on your phone, and you'd always know what your system is doing. Oh, It'd be like 5,000 checks. Yeah, just go ahead and scan it, and uh, I'm going to close it up up here. Okay. And then I'll wrap it up. And uh -huh. then you just pay your deductible. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Like I say, hey. Man, now i got to fight this thing. It's heavy. Yeah, a lot of times too. See these, these folks, they are, uh, they're, they'll be with the one to come to 20 years and they think the company's loyal to them. I think when it's time for a new unit, the one company's gonna get them a new unit. They're sadly mistaken. Man, let's see if everybody gets this thing. This thing here, man. They're sadly mistaken. Time for a new unit. You're paying them for every month for 30 years. And they ain't gonna get you the whole complete system. They're gonna try to keep repairing it up. Replace one, one little uh, component at a time. Oh, man, this don't make no sense. Yeah, these customers though they be with these one 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 company think they just gonna get a new unit when it's time. I can tell the unit to have a lot of breakdown. Control board been replaced. Uh, the transformer. And that's just the downstairs. When I first got here, she said. The upstairs, you had more problems than this. Sharonda is not doing anything. Hold on, just one second. Hold on. All righty. Okay. This is, that okay. is for you. Okay, all right. Anyway, thank you, you so much. Did you get a chance to scan it? Uh, uh, yeah. Or you have our information too. Like I say, when it's time for a maintenance, you can, uh, you can just give us a call. Okay, perfect. All righty. All right. All right, you have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. All right.
All right. All right, take care. Okay, all right. Yeah, y'all don't try to be too pushy, though, but I already made my policy that I got to follow my policy, too. You know what I'm saying? It's like discipline. You got to follow your discipline. My policy, hey, I ask every customer, even if I don't think they're going to get it or not. You know what I'm saying? We out this time. All right, these back people. I just like to show y'all some of my process, some of my stuff, man. You know, I'm trying to enjoy the process of success, folks. The process of success. You know what I'm saying? You got to follow your guidelines and your policies. All right.